can you have a collaborative case? Does it have to be just in your county or your state or or nationally? Um, so if somebody, let's say somebody in um, in Michigan wanted to reach out to one of you, could you do their collaborative cases or do they need to find a collaboratively trained attorney in their own state? Yes, I would say find a collaboratively trained attorney in their own state because okay. laws are different depending on the state. I am licensed in Florida, so any person throughout the state of Florida, just one you know, participant needs to be a resident of Florida and I can assist with that situation, whether it's a divorce or paternity. Um, but the collaborative process is something that is nationwide as well as internationally. So if there's someone that is in Michigan that needs a collaboratively trained attorney, then I can always reach out to colleagues such as Jackie, who's in New York, mm -hmm. and say, hey, you know, I know someone, reach out to this person because they're, they're licensed in the state. Mm -hmm. Right, exactly. I am only licensed in New York State. Okay, so, but you have this very, it sounds like very tight-knit collaborative team like you were mentioning Kristen you're on the board and so you have other resources where you can reach out to other colleagues and say hey there's a need for collaborative in this state and then and then help navigate that person to the right fit for them in the collaborative process um exactly and so okay and so um talking about the, the different states and things and again Kristen is in Florida and Jackie is in New York uh, is the collaborative process accepted by the, Flo the Florida Supreme Court and the New York Supreme Court? So yes, I'm so <laughs> excited. As of uh, the, uh, 2017, the then Governor Rick Scott um, passed the, the Collaborative Process Act. So it mm -hmm. is a statute. It was passed by the Florida Supreme Court, and mm -hmm. it has been growing ever since. So yes. And the answer would be, you know, for New York as well, it is it is an acceptable form of getting a divorce. Mm -hmm. You know, I tell people all the time, even if you choose one of these ADR methods where you're resolving your issues in divorce outside of court, you can't get a divorce in the state of New York without having a New York State Supreme Court judge sign off on it. Mm -hmm. And so what we do is um, we resolve all of the issues, we mm -hmm. draft together a settlement agreement, and then we file that with the court, we e-file it um, on Long Island with the court and a New York State Supreme Court judge will review it and, and sign off on it, hopefully, provided that it's all done properly as okay. we aim to do. <laughs> and um, for, for people like me that are not attorneys, tell us what ADR stands for, because I, I heard you say that a couple times. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so ADR stands for Alternative Dispute Resolution. Oh. And in New York State, in a divorce context, that would include both the mediation process as well as the collaborative divorce process. Oh, 